Hi folks, here's my latest banjo uke that I'm going to auction. It's a lovely George Houtland Sons. That's G-H-S and Sons. It says it on the headstock here. This is an absolutely beautiful condition. I've not had one like this in condition in this condition for quite a long time. Um, I've had it in my workshop, basically stripped it down and um, the main two things I did was put friction tuners on. The, the ones that were on were before a little bit um, slippy slidey. So I put these on and um, they're of the period and they've got really nice action, nice and smooth. And I also put a new vellum, new calfskin vellum, nice quality one. Be careful with the new vellums. Um, there's some on eBay that are like paper thin and only last about not very long to be honest. Um, I reset the action on this. As you can see it's got a very low action. But um, whoever buys this I supply other bridges so you can change the action to have it high or low to suit your needs. To be honest, if you have a low action it's much easier to do this kind of tricky strumming. If you have a higher action um, it's just a wee bit louder. Now I like these much more than the modern ones, um, mainly due to the, the um, calfskin vellum and also the older ones like this are very woody, they haven't got loads and loads of chrome on. They've got th six tensioners here which are more than enough and um, you don't need any more, all that does it makes it heavier and detracts from the sound. I would say um, when, you, when you're getting a, a banjo you're looking for one don't, don't pay a lot of extra money just because something's got a picture of George Formby on. You know, go for something that's old but really nicely set up and you get a much better deal. If you just look out for the George Formby logo or the name Dallas, you might be paying a lot of extra just for the name. But something like this, I mean, I wouldn't say it's new, but blimey, it's, it's not been played very much. I don't know whether you can see on there. It's in gorgeous condition, nice size too. The drum here is 8 inches and this here across here is 10.5 inches. Length is 22 inches. Everything just, just perfect. Nice looking little tailpiece, look at that. Very pretty, just like me. Um, whoever buys this, I mean you've got to bear in mind this is well over 60, 70 years old. It's going to out, outlive you and outlive your kids and outlive their kids I suppose. Um, I got this tuned to G, C, E, A. Now if you want to get the authentic George Formby sound just tune it up a little bit to this one to A. So you get a more, um, it throws out the sound more when it's tuned higher and that's why a lot of the old timers used it. Now what I also like about these old ukes is they're not as loud as the modern ones and they're not as loud as some of the sort of Ludwigs and Abbots and things you pay thousands for. With these you, you can actually make a, a not so loud ukulele sound louder by just hitting it further up here it harder or even put in um, strings like aquilas on that are very loud but a very loud uke it's very hard to, to make quieter. You now I've tuned it with this tuning let's see what that sounds like
Yeah, see, so even when it's sort of tuned up like that, with these older wooden ones, you still don't get that sort of brassy, um, tinny sound. It's still a, still a very warm sound. Anyway, I'll be putting this on eBay, I think. Trust me, it's, it's in lovely condition. And I don't often go on about the cases, but, but in this case, ha, ah, in this case, get it? In this case I will, because it really is, look at that condition of that. Lovely. Really, and even, even the metal works, look, nice and shiny. So, good luck, and if you've got a question, or you want to fix something up, or you've got some problems, ukulele related, I don't do medical, um, just get in touch with jasperhappy at hotmail.com. Thank you.